For Boilermaker All Access, I'm Lindsay Condon here with Blair Fashion. Blair, you guys have done great in the tournament so far, sweeping Moorhead State. That had to be a really good feeling, but mu what must have been a better feeling was coming in fifth seed. Was that a surprise to you guys? Yeah, I, I think it definitely was a surprise because we're used to just, you know, just going to the tournament, just hopefully getting a seeding and just really working hard. But, I mean, you don't take it for granted. You just enjoy it, but don't look too much ahead of it because, you know, every team is a great team and every team is going to be a tough battle. I mean, like last year we were 16 and then we ended up playing the number one team and getting a win. So you just never know. You just have to come out there and play your game and just stay focused. And that's a really good point because even though, you know, the fifth seed matching up against Moorhead, you know, people felt like you were going to win. I don't know if we knew you guys were going to take them in a sweep, but I mean, those are the type of games you have to watch out for because those te teams can overtake you. So was it a surprise just taking them in three sets? Yeah, I definitely, they're a great defensive team. They're making so many plays, and so it's kind of making me nervous. <laughs> but, I mean, just our hitters just stay confident, just keep swinging away at the ball, and you just have to keep adjusting to those teams. And you know they're going to be scrappy. You know they're going to want to fight and try to get a win. But, I mean, I think we did a good job of just pulling it out. Definitely, definitely came away with a solid win, and a solid win against Louisville. You guys beat them, I think, in three sets, 3-1, three right? Yeah. And now that makes two years or two times, once in 2008 and this year, that you guys have beat them to kind of knock them out of the tournament. Did you guys like having that previous experience in 2008? Did that help you out, like kind of calm your nerves against this team? Um, I think we we're actually a little more nervous because, I mean, we play Louisville so much, and you know they're a great team. They have a lot of big hitters, and it's just you. They were playing so well the second game, and I was getting kind of nervous when those tied one to one, but. Um, you, teams get hot and once you've played them so many times and you know you come out with a win a certain amount of times one like one day it's gonna happen where <laughs> they're gonna get that win <laughs> so uh, we were super nervous I mean I mean we try to stay calm out there and like not show up but there's definitely some tension but I think we relaxed and just played our game but they're a great team as well and it looked like it was your game it definitely walking away with a, a win I would say it was your game now looking ahead you guys are going to Minneapolis to play Florida State what do you think about Florida State? What are their strengths, weaknesses? Do you think you got this? Um, I think I'm confident in my team. I think it's going to be a tough battle no matter what. I mean, they're a great team. They have a lot of international players, so it's a little different than what we're seeing, we're used to seeing in the Big Ten. But I think we'll just adjust a lot to them and just watch a lot of film and just kind of get a feel for them. And then once they're there, all you can do is really focus on Purdue volleyball. But I think it's going to be a great matchup. Now you hear about that in football a lot, the difference between like Big Ten versus SEC style play. What's the biggest difference in volleyball? Um, I, it's just the way like the, the hitters play in um, some other uh, conferences or schools like Florida State because they are international. So it's a lot more similar to how guys play. I think it would be the closest. Um, they do, they're really crafty with their shots and everything. and then. I feel like in the Big Ten you just have a lot of big hitters just hitting hard. You just don't want to get hit in the face or something. But um, I think it's just really who plays the best and who comes out there the most confident. And I don't know, it's, it's kind of hard to see what, what's the biggest differences, but it should be a good game. Definitely, and hopefully you guys will walk away with a win and move on to either Iowa State or Minnesota. You know, whoever pulls out that win, who knows. But thanks for talking to me today, and good luck in the tournament. Hopefully we'll see you guys in San Antonio.